Hello, and welcome to a Rumple video. This is how to run a successful Sith team, part two. My last video, I was level 79, um, and I did not have a Nihi. I was either leading with Vader, Maul, or Palp, depending on my situation, and it was rough to even get into the top 10. But I managed it, and it worked. Um, then, when I acquired Nihi, things changed a little bit on how I was running my Sith team. So I kind of want to make another video. Plus, lots has happened since level 79 up to 84. Um, and just to show you real quick, um, I'm first. Well, I'm not always first, but I get into first regularly, especially in time to get for the rewards in the arena because of my Vader and my Maul, and I just required a skimmer ship, my fleet arena has been able to get into first. Um, so my Maul and Vader being who they are, are pretty devastating um, fleet ships. And I've got a whole other video coming out how to manage a Tarkin in the top 10. Uh, as you can see, AAT, and I did fairly well. Now, in the first shot, I'm in first, and I didn't last. Um, in the second shot, I'm in second, and then Smoky Bones, Smoky Bones, like the last two hours came up and got 1.5 million, and actually moved us into like phase two, and that was it. But with the team that I have, I was able to hold a third out of a tier seven heroic AAT. So, I got the stiff of what's going on. No, I'm just messing with you, but it works. So I just wanted to show you this, that it works in arena, works in fleet, and I'm doing well, and the tank takedown as well. And then sooner or later, I'm going to have a Vader video of soloing that pit. So look forward to that one day. But, um, all right, let's move on. So, we're going to move right on to Vader. Oh. My Sith team's even successful in the pits. I'm in the top five normally, which in a guild, it's not all about becoming first. We're a team. So, I wasn't really concerned about having to get first. Um, to show you here, my Sith team is successful enough to get me these rankings along with my Jedi, Jedi team. All right. On to Vader. Now, the key things on Vader were he was on two sets of potency and one set of health. He had 167 speed that went all the way up to 199. So his speed went up 30. I got him off the of potency mods, went to two set of tenacity and a set of offense. You can see the potency went down from 70% to 24%. Tenacity went up from 36% to 67%. It was like a flip-flop. Now you would think he would want more potency, and he does. But in order to have a more potent Vader, I would have to have a speed of like 240. I would have to be able to be faster than the Rebels and or any of my other opponents, and I don't have that speed. So I swapped that for my speed. His armor stayed the same. It was 30% to 32. His resistance went down from 28 to 24. That's because I took his tenacity up. Now the main reason for this is when I acquired Nihi, my battle changed. As I get to Palpatine and Dooku, I'll show you, which are now my fastest. But I didn't need a fast Maul. Or, um, excuse me, I needed a fast Vader. What was happening was Palp would strike first and stun everybody, or mo almost everybody, and not cheer it. Then I would try to stun, cheer it with um, Dooku. So say I get everybody stunned, but not cheer it. And then my third person would be Nihi. He would um, take the taunt off of Baze, and now my Vader would go next. 
When my Vader had a speed of 167, Cheer it would go next and do an all heal. And I just I couldn't get anything done, I'd lose the battle. When I increased Vader's speed up to 199, when I'm in that situation, I can now ability block cheer it. And that makes a whole difference in my arena. I've got a video on that as well. So that was the reason for the speed increase for Vader. I needed it. So I had to sacrifice the potency to get that. The other thing about me leaning towards the tenacity mods is it's where I'm getting all the speed. For me, I'm not saying this is for everybody, but for me, I've acquired all my massive speed mods out of tenacities. So I went tenacity. And since I'm not as fast as I want to be, I needed the tenacity to make up for the speed. Okay, so once again, real quick, Vader went from two sets of potency and a set of health to two sets of tenacity and one set of defense. His speed went up 30, potency went down, and his tenacity went up. And that made it work for ability block and cheer it in the arena. Okay, Sidious. Well, Sidious got a makeover. He turned into Nihi. <laughs> So, uh, everything changed from Sidious. I mean, Sidious was just another Sith giving me buffs. But Nihi's leadership ability really turned everything around for the Sith. Um, Sidious's health was 12k. Protection was 10k. That went up to 23k and 31k. So, we went from, that's 20k difference in health and 20k difference in pro protection from Sidious to Nihi. The speed stayed the same, potency stayed the same, and my tenacity went from 30% to 80%. Once again, because it's not as fast as I want, the tenacity helps me do what I need to do the way I play. That was a big change from Sidious. It was from him to Nihi. <laughs> um, Dooku. He stayed on all potency mods, that didn't change. His health was minor, went from 13k to 15k. Protection went down 1k. His big change was from 203 speed to 226. That's what him striking him first, getting them stuns in. His potency went from 106% to 130%. And now he stuns two people sometimes. So that made a big difference. His tenacity kind of stayed the same. Maul. Maul. Uh, where did we do a Maul? Maul's health stayed the same. Protection went up like 2k. Speed stayed the same. 166 to 169 was no major difference there. And once again, Maul striking fourth. Or sometimes last. I'm trying to have Dooku goes first now. Then Palp. They're both stunning everybody. Then Nihi goes and takes that taunt off of Bayes. Then Vader goes and ability blocks cheer it. Then Maul goes. Now Maul's biggest change was his damage. In the last video, he was 2,400 damage. He's now 3,300 damage. And that 1,000 increase of damage, <laughs> yeah, it works. His single hit, oh, it's nasty. His armor went from 27 to 28. His resist went from 14 to 16. So there's no difference there. And sometimes he's the first one to go out because he has no resist. It's very, very low. Um, and his tenacity went down to 35. I took a big hit in his tenacity. He was from 56 to 35. Um, but I went the damage. So you have your pros and cons. And he's also in the same uh, setup, speed and tenacity. He did go from a couple of three and tier three and four speeds to now all five. And if I had my way with it, I would get him to all tenacities. He doesn't need any potency. He's all damage. Um, in the future, that's what I plan on doing. But my uh, funds ran out. And this is what I've got. <laughs> my funds ran out because the next one, pow. There were major changes in him too. Actually. He had two sets of potencies and one set of tenacity, and I moved all him. I moved him to all tenacities. Um, his health was 13k to 15k. His um, protection was 12k to 17k. His 
Potency was 58 to 73 percent, which I felt is good. The tenacity was 43 to 64. So he had overall upgrades there. His biggest one was five star to seven star. His other biggest one was speed, 181 when he was level 79 to 224. So that really helped, like I said. He and Dooku strike first. They all went from gear 9 to gear 10. That was the other upgrade, except Maul. Maul was gear 10 in the last video, and he went to gear 11. Um, and there you kind of have it. That's a brush overview of how I'm running it. Uh, I, liked, I figured out getting my stuns first was better, and my ability block coming in after that, and the, removing the taunt, and then Maul coming in and just blasting with his hit. So it works out well for the way I'm playing. As you can see, I got into first. Um, and that's about it. Okay, I'm gonna get a little more detail on the mods. Start with Vader. First off, I got 30 speed on everybody. Um, because my main concern was arena but it's showing to work in the raids and everywhere else too so I'm running with this now Vader went from two sets of potency and a set of health to two set two sets of tenacity and de defense to get his tenacity up right there that's the big key and you'll see I'm pretty sure except for Dooku or Pal they've all got tenacity here 10 speed so I went with offense, and you can see right there, four speed, nine defense. There's where my protection comes from, 14 speed, 36 offense. Heavy defense, 10 speed. There's that tenacity with 10 speed. More protection and 10 speed. Now, you can't compete without the speed in the arena. And like I said, it's working for me in the pits as well. I'm sticking with my speed mods. Now that is how I got Vader. Here's what he is now. 32 and 24. And you can see I don't even have Sidious. I'm not gonna bring Sidious back in the game until I get a, a um, Zeta Vader. I now I don't have any use for Sidious and her knee. Nihi, we got two sets of tenacity instead of potency, and there's that primary speed with some defense. 11 speed, 14 speed, 42 offense, 5 defense, 11 defense, 7 speed, and he's got the tenacity as well with a 16 speed, and as you can tell, I've still got an MK or a tier three. So that's a weak one, but it's got strong secondaries. 10 speed, four defense. I'm running with it. That is the last one I needed to upgrade in the set. The way I'm playing my game, that higher tenacity keeps me alive. Once again, if I had that speed around 240, it'd be flip flop. I'd have everything on potency and damage, but I'm not fast enough to live like that. So that's my once again for me for the tenacity mods. I found speed in them. Long. In the last video, some of these were, like I said, tier three or two. But um, I could make his offense even bigger if I stripped that one from. I got another one that has 100 offense for speed, but it's on a park or somewhere. But anyways, 30 speed, 9 defense. Now, how did I get an offense so big? Well, I had to get offense and everything. I was missing it here. But on top primary, 5.8 offense, 9 speed. Now, we're not concerned on his speed, as you'll see. He, he didn't have some big speed numbers. More offense as a primary. 35 offense as a secondary, and just minimal speed. Now, I, had, I need, did need some defense. There's no offense in this at all. And minor speed, as you can see. But major defense as a secondary as well. I didn't go with tenacity. He's getting the offense. So I sacrificed that here. And like I said, sometimes he does die first. But if any of my other tunes are hit first out of them rebels, 
he lives, it works really well. So primary offense, secondary offense. And I played around with giving him tenacity. And no matter how strong I made him, I just wanted that big hit. So there's a bad boy. 60 offense, 10 speed. So there's Maul and how I got that big offense. All those offenses. And that look at that. That damage. I need it. The way I play, I'm like it. No potency at all. I don't he's a damage dude. And look at that slow speed. I mean, he's just creeping slow. So like I said, down the road, when I can get all these things higher, imagine if he was 200 speed. Pow. His big change was 5 star to 7 star. And he had two potencies in tenacity. Now I've got him on all tenacity. But you can see... On all tenacity mods, he still has more potency. That's because of how I rig the mods. I guarantee that's a potency. That's how, right there. A tenacity mod, potency primary. We'll just go back up here. 30 speed. Lots of protection and defense. And then he turns that protection into a health. So, offense and... 15 speed and you're see he's gonna get this he's gonna get the big speed ones and look they're all tenacity 15 speed 11 speed 9 defense 11 defense primary there's that potency and I noticed when I had a 75% potency range I was stunning well three quarters of the time so that's the reason I really went up for the potency 7 defense 19 speed I, I'm going to flip-flop my mods around, and I'm going to get his speed over 230. Because he's not going first, Dooku is. And now that I'm level 84, top three teams, sometimes they're going faster than me. I'm not even going first anymore. Anywhere between, between anywhere but fifth place and up, I'm pretty much going first. They're easier. The top five, they've gotten their speeds up, and I'm not first. So I'm needing to get over that 230 range, I'm thinking. So I'll do some mod swapping and maybe get him over that 230. But he has no armor, 21%. Even this is a little higher, 22. But when I got him to gear 10, he really was able to take a punch in that tenacity. So there's the pal. And last but not least, my dude. He stayed on all posts. His biggest change was the potency. He was like 100%, 106, all the way to 130. His speed went from like 202 to 226. He really wasn't worried about damage because he's stunned. He's hitting so much. And he's mid-range, 25% armor, 17% resist. I wasn't too concerned about Dooku because he's so fast. When he gets hit, he's usually hitting you again. And in a good battle, he hits three and four times on his on his hit when he hits when you hit him. So anyway, sorry about that. Um, let me correct myself here. His counter chance. She has 100% counter chance. I'm telling you, man, sometimes people counter chance three and four times. So I wasn't so concerned on the damage because he's hitting so much. Like Maul, he's not going a lot. And he wasn't going a lot even when he was faster. So I was like, you know what? Make his damage bigger. This Dooku's hitting 16 times more. So his damage is probably much less than everybody else. Well, that's the mods in a little more detail. Um, let me go to this. 30 speed. 100 offense, that's where the other one's a potency. Now you'll notice they're not big ones, only 7 speed. I don't have any 10s or 15s on him because he was already fast. So I can make him really fast too as moving mobs around. So he gets 5 speed. And he's got a potency here. He's all potency. 12 speed, there's a faster mob. There's those. Defense, defense, I want two defenses on him. So, there it is. No 
little more detail in the mods and how I ran my team. Once again, I, I'll just repeat this. My goal was Pop to go first, so I make him a little faster. Then Dooku, then Nihi. And Nihi can either reset everybody's cooldowns or move that taunt on base. If I have not stunned Chirrut, then I will use Nihi to remove the taunt, which makes me enable to hit Chirrut with Vader. And that's why I got Vader's speed up to the 200 range, because now he goes before most Chirrut's, and I can ability block Chirrut. And that makes the whole difference in my game. If Chirrut gets to go, heal, screwed. So that's my gameplay and how I'm running my Sith. And it's successful for me. So, um, I want to thank you for watching, and have a good day.